What up, Liron here, and today we're gonna to talk about how to build a small side income from your art, even if you don't have much time. What's up, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another episode of Business Monday. Before we get to the episode, and it's gonna be an interesting one, as I mentioned, I'm gonna talk about how to create um, a small side income from your art, even if you don't have much time, or you know, I'm, I wanna direct you in the one direction that will help you get uh, the most out of it, even with limited uh, time and even resources. Before we get to that, I just wanna show you this super cool handmade wooden box and I got this from Michael Fitzgerald he actually sent it to me he's just been following me here on YouTube and I just wanted to give him a huge shout out so thank you so much Mike uh, for sending me this handcrafted by Michael Fitzgerald um, and he actually creates these and sells these on uh, Etsy so it's not like a paid promotion or anything but I just wanted to give him a shout out I'm gonna probably put all of these details uh, in the description box you can check it out uh, really thank you so much I really really appreciate your support everyone Mike thank you so much and all of you it's just been so humbling like I'm getting emails and messages that uh, every day just make me smile and, and make me so happy and this support means everything to me and I'm really trying to up my game and create better content for you and just more interesting videos you know the the starting to do the collabs the interviews I think this is really interesting I want to get to the edge of the best of the best content that I can uh, and hopefully with time uh, also my I want to develop my skills in that sense okay so anyway we went on a huge side tangent and now it's time to get into the episode. So again, today we're gonna to talk about uh, how to use the little time you have because maybe you have your, uh, you know, the main uh, income source of yours is a, a job or, you know, a, a nine to five or anything like that. Um, so there are a few low hanging fruits um, that you can work and strive towards um, leveraging to make a side income from your art. And that means you don't what I do is build a system. I built a system, a marketing and sales funnel that brings people from ads, brings them into my website, into my funnel. Uh, I you know I keep communicating with these people if they have any questions or things like this they buy additional courses in the future um, and so this is a big system and building that costs a lot of money sometimes because you're using a lot of services that you have to use. Um, it takes a lot of time, a lot of optimization a lot of work and not everyone has that time. So what I recommend if you're in that situation in that position is to leverage existing systems. That's the bottom line of this video. And existing systems are websites that already have customers on them, already have potential students on them, already have the people that are willing to pay money on them. So the platform is the middleman and it connects the, the service givers with the service consumers and then you don't have to create your own system and it's usually a low monetary um, uh, investment. Okay, so such platforms are Udemy, like the, the course platform, Skillshare, the classes platform. These are all, they have their own audience, you create your own uh, product on them. If you're good at teaching, the, the, the entry, level, the, entry bar, the bar of entry is low. Uh, if you can just record yourself or whatever it is that you do, teach yourself, teach uh, others, record yourself teaching others uh, how to do that. That's all you need. Um, and again, they already have the customers on it. And with, um, let's say, Udemy course, if you do a good job and you, you, know, you study the platform carefully and you learn what works and what doesn't and how to get those initial uh, course students, then you can really make a nice side income, you know, several hundreds of dollars just really quickly from one course uh, as long as you do a good job at it, okay? So uh, this is the main point of this uh, video. Leverage other people's platforms. Someone created this website called Udemy for you. Uh, so instead of building your own system, which is a lot of work, you just do that. Another example is a book on Amazon. You know, I have like 12 books on Amazon now and Amazon brings sales automatically. They already have a lot of customers on the website. They're already actively searching for books to read uh, in whatever niche. Uh, you know, uh, for me, it's the sketching. I still haven't written a book on watercolor painting. I don't feel like I'm there uh, at all. Um, I think it'll take some time, but sketching, I feel 100% confident. I have a lot of books on drawing and sketching. Um, um, and so I leverage Amazon for that and I don't need to, 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 I don't have a lot of expenses in that sense. The book is there, they're taking their cut off of the, the profits and this is it. So if you're good at writing or if you want to write about the topic that you like to teach, this is a very good platform to get started. It costs nothing. Okay. Now, if you already have a, 
uh, a main source of income so you don't have time but you do have maybe money so you can leverage that money and pay someone to design your cover or to do some other things so it's always a, a game of these two if you don't have time you have money if you don't have money you have time so if you don't have money use your time to do these kinds of things um, the little little limited time you have for me because this is my main income this is my this is a source of joy and worry for me on a day-to-day -day basis for me deadlines are important and I can say that I have to finish this course within several weeks that I have to get uh, to be done with a book uh, within three months okay uh, but you may have the privilege of having another main uh, source of income and you can spread it out across maybe six months you know maybe what I do in a few weeks you can do in six months because you only have like three available hours a week okay and I'm really just trying to talk from my own experience I don't think like I, I'm still in the beginning of this journey as well of building myself and building uh, the business around my art I'm really just getting started and and, hopefully, and that's good news because it means that I'm gonna be in a much much I think more interesting place in the future um, so this is definitely not the end-all be-all advice but it's just my perspective another example of leveraging a different an existing platform is Etsy like this box where he made it you know, um, you can just create your own crafts and then sell them there and you don't need to, you know, Etsy does take a bit more time because you have to ship the product, but like if you make money from it, it may be worth it, okay? So let's conclude this video because I feel like I've talked about many different examples. What I'm saying is this, don't waste a lot of time on building your own platform and this advice goes against what I do. I do this because I think it's important long term but if you just want to build a side income don't waste your time on building a, a system that will be expensive and it will take time to set up even though that's the most correct way of going at it if you want to go pro uh, go with the low hanging fruit of the existing websites the Udemy's and the Skillshare's and the Amazon's and all of that and build your products on top of existing platforms don't create your own platform and I think this is the best way to get started I think one of the easiest really easiest ways to get started is Udemy you just record yourself creating a course um, you can use your smartphone and a very simple tripod to have everything done even if you want to record like downwards with the paper it's it's such a simple setup and all you have to do is do it you know um, design the course cover it's just a picture if you have some visual knowledge you can do that on your own so it, you see it's really accessible and if you do want to build it nothing really stops you as long as you have that few hours a week uh, and I really want to encourage you to try and bring it out uh, what you have in you, the knowledge you have in you, because other people can benefit from it, you know, and uh, for me the most important thing is the quality of the product, so as long as you know what you're doing and you, you can create something that's of high quality in terms of the educational value, go for it, you know. Um, I don't know, I still didn't really crack the making uh, money, uh, maybe making a side income from selling your art, I guess there are many ways to go at it, like Etsy, I, I, I correct, Etsy is, is kind of the same thing, you create art and then you sell it. Um, so that could be a good way of approaching But in any case, this is it. I think with that being said, it's a good time to wrap up this video. Let me know what you think, let me know with this, uh, if this helps uh, and, and where this video finds you. Is this relevant to you? Is this a situation you're in? Uh, I think generally speaking that if you're in a situation where you have a main source of income, you can relax, I think it's a really good place to be in. in. Um, I took quite a few risks because I was young and I didn't have you know no family or anything like that to take care of um, and so I was able to take these risks and immediately get to the point I was lucky because I had you know it's like grace from the universe it's uh, the the circumstances fitted it and then I had the, the, the abilities to start doing it okay it's a combination of many different factors but in any case if you're in a situation where you're blessed to have a good main income I think it's a really good place to be in to make a side thing okay you see what I'm saying um, so in any case this is it it's really time to wrap it up I hope you enjoyed this one I will put links to everything in the description box my Instagram page if you want to see uh, my own works in progress things that I don't share here uh, I'm gonna put links to my beginners drawing course to my patreon page if you want to support me I really want to thank everyone who supports me there it's just incredible um, and in any way anyone who buys a product likes a video comments like I really 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 appreciate it and i will see you again in another episode of business monday and just in another vid real soon